Hello everyone, we will discuss problem C, tensing and bolts. So the problem statement is very straightforward. It tells you that you are given an array and uh, in each iteration you can do the following. You can basically pick any two same elements of the array and you can delete everything between them, including themselves. And uh, at the end you want to tell, okay, uh, you can do this operation as many times as you want and you want to tell that what's the uh, maximum number of elements that you can remove okay so uh, initially a greedy approach might come to your mind for example we, we might think that if we have uh, basically two i and j's of the same color and they are the farthest then perhaps you can remove that remove them at this point uh, but these greedy approaches I don't think will work because uh, for example if you have an array like um, there is suppose a 4 here then there is a, a 5, a 6, a 2 and there is another 4 here there's a 4, there's a 2 if, if you have something like this so you might be tempted to you know take these two 4's and uh, remove them uh, but in that case, because they are the farthest and they have the same color, uh, so your array will look something like 1, 2, and 6. But a better choice would be to pick these two, remove them, and then pick these two twos and then remove them. So then you will be only left with 1, 6. All right. So the way that I have solved it is I have created a, a, a DP array, and uh, basically, DP of i will mean that if we look at this segment from i to n minus 1 and only at this segment uh, we don't care about the previous elements then in this segment what's the maximum number of elements that you can remove okay and eventually you would uh, you want to find the value of dp of 0 because you look at the segment from 0 to n minus 1 and you want to find the maximum number of elements that you can remove so Try to think about the DP transitions. Well, suppose you are standing here at the ith index and you want to find DP of i. And suppose this element has color red, okay, R. There are two things that you can do. The first thing is you can ignore this element and you can go to the i plus 1th element. That is, this element will not be paired with some other red and, you know, we will not delete anything. You will just ignore this element. So this is one possibility. The second possibility is we can pick some, we can uh, you know pair it with some other red element and we can delete everything between them. So we can pick some j such that uh, color of j is equals to color of i. And in that case, what will happen is the number of elements that we are removing will be j minus i plus 1 and once we have removed all of these elements we are left with this segment so then we will maybe we'll ask the dpr to tell us okay in this region now because now this is this region is independent of this region because uh, these all elements have been deleted so something like this okay the base case, base case would be that dp of n minus 1 is equal to 0 because uh, n minus 1 means that you have only one element and you cannot pair it with any other element because it's the last element. So solving this dp in an iterative manner from right to left um, will take order n squared time. The reason being is that for each index i you will have to, so there will be multiple such j's right so if you are red color then there may be a red color here a red color here red color here this might be j1 j2 j3 so you will take all the possibilities you might remove this segment and then you will be left with dp of j1 plus 1 or you might remove this segment and then you have j2 plus 1 to n minus 1 region and so on so you want to take this dp for all j's such that color of j is equal to color of i and you will take the max of that okay so since you will need to basically loop from i plus 1 to n minus 1 for each i that will complexity will go till order of n square but this is actually the dp solution and we will try to optimize it 
So first try to optimize it on your own and then uh, we can look further. So let's write this formula again. dp of i is equals to uh, j minus i plus 1 plus dp of j plus 1 and this is for all the j's such that color of j is equal to color of i. This equation can be written as 1 minus i. So I am trying to separate the i term and the j terms plus j plus dp of j plus 1. And it's obvious that j is greater than i because it's some element ahead of i. Here is i, here is j. So in this equation, you can see that we know the value. Since we are at the ith index, we know this value, right? We want to find the, since you want to take the maximum of for all j's, this will term will remain constant. We need to take the maximum of this term with this con con uh, uh, condition. So let us create, a, basically let's create a map, okay? Map of, um, color of map of some color let's so map will basically store so let's assume that we are our color is red okay and there is one j1 here one j2 here some j3 here all of these have red colors so we can take this segment we can take this segment we can take this segment so the map of red map will have the colors as it as its key and it will store the maximum value of j plus dp of j plus 1 for all of the uh, indexes having the color red because that's what we want to do right we want to uh, we want to find this value for all the uh, red color indexes if we are the red color so this value of j1 plus dp of j1 plus 1 this has uh, j2 plus dp of j2 plus 1 and this will have j3 plus dp of j3 plus 1 all of these are for color red so the map will the map will store the maximum of these okay so what we can do is so i will tell you how to update the map but let's assume the map stores this value the maximum for all the uh, indexes of that particular color ahead of us right and this map will like if there is red color it will also store the same value for some other colors blue colors green colors and so on but here since we are assuming that the ith element has a red color we are only concerned with the map of red now how will the map update so once you have calculated dp of i all right the map of red contained the value uh, value of uh, j plus dp of j plus 1 for all indexes which were greater than i for all j is greater than i right so we have this information for all j is greater than i but we don't have the information for j equals to i so only for the ith index the information will be updated and at ith index since we have the color red we will only update uh, the map for the red color so map of red will be maximum of its old value whatever it was comma what's a new candidate here for the red color it is the ith index so we are storing this uh, index left dp of the next uh, index position so it will store maximum of the old value comma i plus dp of i plus 1 that's how the map will update and uh, then we will we can then calculate dp of i minus 1 and so on okay so the crux is that we will we are just uh, we have this sort of dp uh, relation and what we are doing is we are we want to since we have calculated you know dp of j we have calculated every dp value greater than i when we are at when we are calculating from right to left so when we are at the ith index we have calculated all of these dp values and uh, we know by this recurrence that uh, 
a particular DP value is only useful with the previous index since it's something like J plus DP of J plus one. So using that information, we are trying to query this thing in order one instead of order n. And uh, the way we are doing is since the uh, suppose this index color is some red, it is only concerned with the uh, J's such that uh, the color of J is red. So for all those red colors, we have we have created a map which stores the maximum of this value. And when we have calculated DP of I, we will update the map because uh, you know information for all the indexes greater than I have been stored in the map. Uh, so we just need to store our, ourselves here we need to update our information so since our color is we are assuming to be red uh, we will update the we only need to update the uh, key the red key in the map the rest of the things we don't need to change and uh, yeah that's how we will query this in order one i will show you the code now so yeah so I have maintained a color DP and uh, it, it stores the I plus DP of I plus one uh, for all the colors, for all the indexes that we have seen so far. And then uh, initially the DP of I for the last index, it will be zero. Otherwise we have two choices. Either we just ignore ourselves or um, we take the maximum index, maximum J, uh, such that j plus dp of j plus one is maximum and uh, and that has to correspond to correspond to our current color because we can only take the same colors and minus i plus one will be constant and now once we know our value we will update the map so i have created a um, update value and i will update the map um, with the update value for my color okay and the update value will be i plus dp of i plus one and in the end we will return dp of zero so yeah that's how we solve the problem uh, thank you for watching the video bye bye